In this cool project, you will learn how to create an AND logic gate on breadboard. How does it work? If I press either one of the switches, the LED is off. But if I press both of the switches at the same time, the LED turns on. These are the components for this project. I'm using a breadboard, some breadboard connectors. We can also use some jumper wires, LED, one kilo ohm resistors, two 10 kilo ohm resistors, two push button switches, two BC547 NPN transistors, and I'm going to use a nine volt power supply. So let's get started. Let's place our transistors to the breadboard. Connect the collector pin of the first transistor to power. Now let's grab our 10 kilo ohm resistors and connect both of them to the base of the transistors and to a blank spot on breadboard. Also the second one second transistor goes to the base of the transistor and to a blank spot on breadboard now let's grab our push button switches and connect one of the pins to the other end of 10 kilo ohm resistor and the other pin goes to the power rail of the transistor of the breadboard Connect the emitter of the first transistor to the collector pin of the second transistor. Let's grab our 1 kilo ohm resistor and connect one of them to the emitter pin of the first transistor and to ground. Here is my second 1 kilo ohm resistor. I'm going to connect it again to the emitter pin of the second transistor and to a blank spot on breadboard. The anode of the LED, the long pin, has to be connected to the other end of the 1 kilo ohm resistor and the cathode goes to the ground terminal of the breadboard. Now let's connect our power supply And keep in mind that since we have used two negative rails of the breadboard, one here and one here, because of that we have to connect the ground terminals of the breadboard together. So now we are done with the circuit. Let's test it. Whenever I press one of the push button switches, the LED must not turn on. But whenever I press both of the switches, the LED turns on. So here is how the circuit works. In order to turn on the LED, both of the transistors must conduct. The transistors are connected in series to each other and it means that whenever one of the transistors are not conducting, hence current cannot flow through the LED and make it on. But what would happen if I press both of the switches at the same time? In this case, both of the transistors are conducting right now and current can flow through the LED. Can we make an OR gate just with this circuit? Yes, we can make it. And I will show you how we can get an OR gate from an AND gate. So the transistors are connected in series to each other. For an OR gate, we have to connect them in parallel to each other so I'm gonna disconnect my power supply I'm gonna remove this wire and I'm gonna connect them in parallel to each other so emitter of the first transistor 
is going to be connected to the emitter of the first transistor. Can I make it? Yes. So right now the transistors are in parallel to each other and what we need to do is to connect the second transistor, the collector of the second transistor to power. So I'm going to connect it just like the first transistor, the collector is going to be connected to power rail of the breadboard. Now let's test the circuit together. Right now we have an OR gate. The transistors are in parallel to each other. So whenever I press either one of these switches, the, tran the respective transistor is going to be conducted and the LED must turn on. Okay, I forgot to connect my power supply. So I have nine volts coming through the circuit and let's test it. So as you can see, our OR gate works perfectly. If I get a one zero in the out in the input, I will get a one on the output and the LED turns on. 